So this video is all about the cool tones, the cool tone looks that you should be able to create with some of the palettes that you may have in your collection, some of the palettes that you might have been eyeing. And I have been loving cool tones lately. I think it's been great. It's been exciting. It's just been something different added to the game. But sometimes it can be a little frightening when you have very warm skin complexion. So here's some looks to give you some inspiration. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as I just mentioned, I have some cool tone looks for you to give you some inspiration, especially if you have warm tone skin. But even if you don't have warm tone skin, don't worry, this video is still for you. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. And eyeshadow is my jam. It is one of my most favorite things to talk about here on my channel. Now, basically, I decided to do this because, you know, cool tones have been like making its way back onto the makeup scene and I'm very excited for it. But then I would get a lot of comments on my video like, okay, your cool tone looks work, but I'm still so scared of doing these cool tone looks on my warm skin complexion. And I get it because I have a very warm skin complexion too. Now, I when I think about it, if I really thought about it, which I have. When I started my makeup journey back in the 90s, it was basically all about cool tones. There were some warm tones. It was pop of gold. It was also very more single shadow based. There really wasn't any eyeshadow palettes. Like you can make your own like little quad situation or a nine pan situation at MAC. Kind of curate some colors there. Eyeshadow palettes were not the main focus. It was definitely all about the single shadow game. But when I think about it, most of my looks back then were pretty much some type of cool tone, especially for the mattes. And that was what was very popular back in the day. Yeah, in the 90s, it was cool tones. So I just kind of learned how to make that work because those were a lot of the options. <laughs> you know, that's what you had. You know, so that's what was in style. That's what you work with. You know, definitely the makeup trends have changed because back then, look, it really wasn't a whole situation with like the crease and the outer V and the transition shade and the shimmer and all of that. It was very much like, I'm going to put this strip of eyeshadow across my lid and going about my business, okay? <laughs> so I have for you here three different palettes with three different looks. So I kind of just do, um, you know, some kind of like a warm and cool tone vibe. So you can kind of, you know, stick your toe in, get accustomed to doing, you know, the warm and cool tone. I have this look for you right here, which is a little bit more muted as far as cool tone. And then I have another look for you that's very sparkly, and cool tone. So I'll talk about the palettes along the way, but let's go ahead and get started with the video because I really love how these looks look turned out and I hope you love them too and it finds you some inspiration. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I got my eyebrows filled in using my Goof Poof Pencil, shade 3.75. You guys already know the drill. For the primer today, I decided to go with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Contemplative State. It is my skin complexion, so I really do love that. And the palette that I decided to choose was, I was like, oh, you know what? This is cool tone because I was watching my declutter video from this past year and I was like, you know what? You, she's year time appropriate, you know, all year round, not just Christmas Eve. This is the Christmas Eve palette by Odin's Eye Cosmetics. It actually came out the year prior, so I want to say it came out actually in 22, but they did bring it back for Christmas or holiday, you know, round out in 2023. So a lot of people probably got a chance to get this and they were really popular when it came out for the exact reason. Like, I mean... Just gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. I also decided to use this palette because I'm not sure of all the palettes I'm using in this video, but I know they're gonna be a little bit more gray tone. And this one has a little bit more color to it. Plus it has some warmth to it, like when I was talking about in my video, where you wanna kind of start off with maybe some shades that have a little bit more warmth as the transition shade when you're dealing with cool tones and you have a warm skin complexion. So that is a little mixed up. So let's go ahead and get started and create a look.
All right, I am back. Here is the first look of this series and I love it. Okay, well, I love it. <laughs> so to me, it's, it's giving cool tone, it's giving colorful, it's giving spring, it's giving Easter, dare I say. I am living for this multi-chrome shade, which is called uh, Gorgeous. Oh, that's an appropriate name for it. Okay. So, I mean, I have a, a video about the palette, so I'm not going to get into how everything performed, but I would just say that I love the choices that Odin's Eye provides for the multi-chromes. I think they're always really gorgeous, but this is how I put together this look. So let's go over the face details real quick. I went ahead and used my Rare Beauty Foundation shade 430W. She's basically on this last leg. Like I'm pretty much done with her this week, okay? Because I am scraping and scraping and I can't get up here and I can't really get down here. And guess what? I have pretty much, it's really nothing down here. Maybe, and I can't really, anyway, I, I've used her up, okay? So proud of it. You know, it takes a really long time to like get rid of a foundation or pan a foundation, okay? So now for the bronzer, I decided to go in with my, uh, what is this, our Luminous Silk Glow Liquid Bronzer. This is by Giorgio Armani. This is actually the shade, what is this, 110? I think this is one of the deepest shades that comes in. It's still a very beautiful bronzer, but you know, come on, come on, you can get some more. So because this is a cool tone look, I opted for a cooler tone blush. And on me, I like purples, like a little bit deeper and a little bit more cool tone when it comes to a blush, if you want a cool tone blush. I think purple still complements our skin complexions very well if you're very warm. Um, I feel like also if you're African American, purples just look really good on your skin complexion as well. So it's kind of like each your own. So of course this part is really just kind of bright and vibrant, but I kind of went here in the middle because I felt like it would play nicely with the eyes. So I used that for my blush. And then for the lip, I went in with like one of my faves and this is Bite Beauty. Recipes by Beauty. They make fabulous lipsticks, but yeah, <laughs> this is still creamy, still going strong after so long. And this is the shade Glace. So it's just, I have no lip liner on. So this is a little plummier. You know, it's a little bit more cool toned, especially because I don't have a liner on, but I feel like it just kind of completes the whole look. And now, like, th this is the look basically what I was saying. Like, this is you diving into cool tones. This is you like, okay, I want to get my feet wet. I'm not quite sure how to do it. It still has some warmth. It has some balance. If you can see my transition shade, it played well. It was a little grungy, but it worked well with my skin complexion. And it still had a little bit of warmth to it. And then going in with the inner corner, Corner. If you have bolder shades, more cooler tone mattes that you're a little scared of, pop them in the inner corner or the outer corner, excuse me, in order to get that depth and definition. And then it's kind of like a little bit more tucked away and you don't feel so bad. And then always play with your shimmers to get that cool tone look. So like your mattes, like, you know, you're starting to warm, you're getting a little bit cooler, but I went ahead and layered um, this blue shade, which is called Blue Ice over our gorgeous multi-chrome, which is right here. So the gorgeous definitely gives that light and kind of that warmth to the eye as well because of that hint of pink and fiery kind of red and then popped it in with this gold and this gold is definitely a lighter gold a little bit more cool tone in nature when i think about this particular gold i also think about the gold in pat mcgrath's mothership number one which is really stunning as well so and then to pair off the eye look i decided to go in with my color pop um, cream gel liner and this is the shade. What shade is this? This is called Ventura Boulevard. Really pretty. Brought the look together. So I feel like it's really pretty. And it's a good way to say like, okay, I like color. You get some colors that you like, that you enjoy. I tend to like blue and purples, you know, and then you kind of mix them together with the warm and the cool. Now it's not a stark warm and the cool like I've done some of those looks, but it's a gradual progression. So that's how I worked it and that's how I like to pair my makeup with sometimes cooler tone eyes and still keep your skin really warm, you know? So like my blush is cooler, but my bronzer is really warm. You know, the foundation's warm, my concealer is warm. <laughs> so I'm a warm toned chick. So you just gotta make it balanced. So this is look number one and I'll be back with some more. 
All right, we're back for another look. This time I'm going in with literally like one of my favorite palettes in my collection, period. I've decided, yes, this is the Inslee Rain Cold Moon Palette. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color story. If you're into multi-chromes and holochromes and dual chromes and all the cool tones that a palette has to offer, this one does not disappoint. Oh my gosh, so we're going brown, we have mauves, we have a little bit of kind of peach. Of course, we have our grays, our slate grays, kind of like the white and all the sparkly shades that you can desire. Some do have a little warmth to them and some are just more strictly cool tone in nature, but Let's go ahead and create a look. I have done three looks with this palette by itself, but oh, what shade? This is one of my favorite shades. This is one of my favorite shades, but this one, I'm not going to use it in this particular look because it is a little bit more fiery, leaves a little bit warmer, so it's this one, and I want to kind of stay in the cool realm, so I might go in here with Snow Crystal, maybe hit a little purple. Hmm. Let's see. This is Snow Fairies. Snow Fairies has a little bit of like that blue brown aesthetic to it we'll see where the wind takes us okay and then i'll talk about my face details when i come back in a second And back and here is the final look using the Code Moon palette. So I kept it kind of simple, but I just love it because there's a little bit of lightness to the eyes. There's still a little bit of a golden hue, like a, maybe a little bit warmer golden hue, hue but the overall the look is still very cool. So I love the matte selection, kind of mauve and then just letting the shimmers do like all the shine. So, you know, I feel like it's a good way to kind of get into the cool tone vibe, starting off with maybe a little bit, you know, like I said, it's a more mauve transition, which most people tend to kind of like a mauve transition that's not like too crazy abnormal. That brown for sure is definitely more of like a, like it's a chocolate brown, but definitely has pulls gray, which was this shade right here. And then I popped a little bit of this shade in it just kind of blended out as well. And then, like I said, I just let the shimmers do the talking. So it's very light, it's still airy, but it's not too bold, but it's like, okay, maybe a way that you can kind of dip in without going too far. But still, like I said, overall, it is still like pretty much a cool tone palette. And like I said, I, I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time in my collection. It is like, come in, 
stolen my heart. Always want to play with it. Always want to use it. And just for like some food for thought for this particular shade, this is like a really sticky shade. It's really thick. They're really opaque. So I would just definitely work with just a little bit and then dab it on. And one thing I noticed, like the more you dab and dab some of the dullness, the shade will kind of dull down. So like on this eye, I didn't pat too much because... You know, I was like, okay, I kind of dulled it down a little bit. So it doesn't look like it on this eye, but definitely I feel like this eye is a little bit more opulent. And you can definitely tell. So I'm just going to take like a little pinch of the shade right here. Once again, this is Snow Crystal. And if I would put it right here, you see how you have all that reflective shine. You just keep patting and patting you'll kind of wear away with it. So it just kind of depends on what type of effect. I know this shade is a holochrome. Honey, let me tell you something. I love my holochromes. And I know my little friend Kara, not my little friend, but I know my friend Kara, beauty friends, I'm just messing with her child. She's like, I hate hollows. I'm like, what did they do to you? I love a holochrome, okay? I love the extra little dot, the extra little twinkle, I'm here for it. So if you want to build it up, there you go. But like I said, it's just, overall, it's just a great, great look. Like you can't go wrong. So that's what I'm saying. Let, let the shimmers talk for you. Because a lot of times we're going to be okay with the shimmers. It's the mattes that probably scare the heck out of us. <laughs> so this is look number two for the skin. It's basically all the same products as yesterday. Like, we're, we're really scraping. Or I didn't film yesterday or the day before yesterday, whatever. We're scraping. Okay, for this time, I did go ahead and use Old Faithful, meaning my Juvia's Place bronzer in the shade tan. So basically, like, warm complexion, keep your skin warm, okay? So the eyes are going to be a little bit warmer, but I went a little bit definitely cool tone with the lippy. The lippy is the same as last time that by Beauty Glace, which is right here. Went in with a black eyeliner on this particular... Child, these allergies I'm trying to take me out. I refuse though, okay? And then I went in with my uh, bare palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, stuck with the purple blushes because A, it matches like the eye look, shirt, all that. And this time I actually went in with mm, R.I.P. Becca. Remember Becca? Okay, so this is actually opal and it's a little bitty, you know, but she's definitely more cool tone in nature. So I put that on as a highlight and just to kind of pair the look together. So that's the look. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back with another palette. I don't know what yet. All right. I am back. We're going to do a third look. Eyebrows are on, of course, using my same pencil that I always use, the Goof Poof Pencil, shade 3.75. You know, that is Bay. She gets the brows together. Going in with the same primer, which is the MAC Contemplative State in that pink pot. And today, or in this round, we are going to be using the Natasha Denona Xenon palette. So definitely a cool tone dream. Okay, lots of grays, blacks, some blues. Um, some people say they see a little pink. I really don't. Ooh. Maybe in the shade Snowbow. Maybe if you look a certain way and flip the color. I mean, there's a hint of, I see like a little purple, maybe a tiny bit of blue. Yeah, but okay. So, you know, I like gray shadows. Gray shadows is like my friend that I don't really see a lot, but you know, every time we link up, it's a vibe. So definitely want to play with this. Definitely, you know, cool tone, vibing it out. Okay. And I did one look with this. This is a palette that I was not supposed to buy, but then it kept calling my name. It kept calling my name, calling my name, calling my name. So let's see what we can create. I'm going to do a little bit lighter. I'm not going to go all in heavy. I'm going to try. So let's see. Okay. And of course, I'm going to start here and let's see what I can create.
All right, I am back. This is Natasha Denona Zena. Let's talk about the face details real quick before I wrap up the video. So for the face details, I decided, I was like, you know what? Let me pull this out. Haven't used this in forever. This is the Huda Beauty um, foundation stick in 400G, no, 440G cinnamon. And I paired it with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And, um, oh, I put it up, but one of the things, it's a new product that I just used. And I got this from the Sephora sale. If you want to catch my haul, that is up. This is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Powder in the shade Pink. And I think it looks really nice. Like, because I usually use the yellow, so I tried the pink, and I see some brightening, but it's not like crazy. I'm not giving like stark under eye, which I don't prefer, but it looks good. I really didn't expect any it not to look good, but I just wasn't sure about the color. So, and for the bronzer, I went in with my Old Faithful. This is the Juvia's Place bronzer in the shade tan, and took one of my favorite things, ColourPop liner in the shade, what is this, Ventura Boulevard, just to add a little pop of fun to the eye look. And I think the blue co really complements the shades very well. And then I took my blush palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. You know, I love some Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the bare cheeks. These kind of tend to pull a little bit cooler. I definitely went in with the purple. I really like the purple blushes when I do cooler tone looks. Paired it with my Opal Highlighter by Becca that I used in the last look as well. So, and then of course, I got my, my OG, my Bite Lipstick in the shade, what is this, Glace? You know, I love this. No lip liner. I think it's like a good cross between cool and warm tones. So this is the look. I had so much fun playing with this Natasha Denona Z9 palette. I've actually been having a lot of fun playing with it. And I felt like this look is definitely, you know, a little bit more approachable. If you don't really like the blue liner, you know, swap it out, put your black, put a brown one on. This one is a good cross between like day and nighttime a little elevated smoke without going too smoky because you know this palette can go deep dark but there's so many light shades in here that you can definitely play with the different dimensions of the eyeshadows and create different looks so I don't really feel like this is a one trick pony because I've used this about three or four times, maybe about four or five actually, since I've had it. And I've come up with something different each and every time. And I've really been enjoying it. So definitely gray, but you know, a little bit lighter, definitely a little bit more topier right here. I also feel like this palette would be a good match if you have the Natasha Denona My Dream, if you have the Natasha Denona um, What's she called? Glam <laughs> palette. You know, that is a very good cool tone palette. I talked about that in my overall of cool tone palettes. I think that looks good on warm, particular warm skin collections. So I just wanted to bring a little different option. And so like the transition at first, I was a little worried because I was like, oh, Blizzard is very light, but paired on top of Snurt. I just gave it a nice little transition, a little bit something deep in. And then, like I said, it's kind of still very light on the eyes. So it's not too heavy. It, I feel like it's still daytime appropriate if you're like going to an event, if you're going to work, you know, I don't care. You know, I just kind of wear whatever I want to wear at this point to a degree. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like how the cool tones have been like coming. They've been emerging on the scene, giving us some different options as far as makeup. Everything used to be so warm. And now I'm glad that we're having a good balance. But as all, you know, new trends, they can be a little tricky sometimes. And if you're not have, sure how to pair them on your skin complexion, that's what this video was for. Like different ways for you to just kind of get comfortable with these particular tones on your skin complexion. Or even if you just have a cooler skin complexion and you just want to see the looks, this video is for you too, okay? So let me know what you guys think about the looks. I'm very excited how all of them came out. You know, we had the Christmas Eve right here. And this was definitely a good little mix between like 
giving a little bit of warmth with giving the cool tone. I think the look came out so beautiful and I've really been having fun just kind of tipping into my collection, playing with my palettes. Like I'm really making a conscious effort this year to kind of touch a lot of different things in my collection because when I was going through my declutter and my eyeshadow palette uh, collection uh, at the top of the year, I was like, so much stuff I haven't touched. And then there's so much stuff that I want to wear. So like I said, I feel like, you know, Gorgeous just really pulled out the warmth and kind of gave you that good balance if you're just trying to navigate the cool tones in general, you know, kind of stick to the shimmer shades if that's what makes you more comfortable if you're not comfortable with the mattes yet. And then, of course, my Cool Tone of Cool Tone palette, one of my favorite palettes in my collection right now, like, huh. If I was to do like a top 10 palette, I should do that. A top 10 palette in my collection at the moment. This is definitely in the ranking. Like, I love her. She's so cool. She's cool. She's fire. She's ice. She gets sunshine. She's giving like frost. It's, it's really great. I feel like the palette is very well balanced. The multi-chromes are beautiful. The look I was able to create with this is really nice. You can kind of take it from day to night. You're going to get a lot of sparkle factor, which I tend to still love. So I don't really remember what I was saying because my contractor was leaving my house, but I was saying that I know I really enjoy these cool tone looks and I hope you do too. So we're just going to wrap the video up right there. I hope you enjoyed the looks. I hope it gave you some type of inspiration. Pull out your palettes, play with them. Don't be scared of these new cool tones that are hitting the market. It's keeping it fun. It's keeping it interesting. So leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance. Chair dance. Ay, ay, ay. Chair dance. Mm, mm. Chair dance. Ay. Mm. Chair dance. Mm, mm. All right, y'all. Bye.